Question 2. Table shows the melting point and boiling point of two substances P and Q. Okay, I'm going to show you a method that I use and you have to be familiar with this method so that you can get your answers very easily, very quickly without error. Okay, so if, I, if you are given a substance P, let's look at P only, and you're given a melting point, that means from solid to the liquid, this is the temperature which will change it from a solid to a liquid. Right? Let me just... Am I right? This is the temperature, 6. Because that is the melting point. Now, similarly, if you want the liquid to boil off, then you have at 270, once you reach 270, it becomes a gas. So that is the temperature at which it will convert the liquid state to a gas state. So anything in between this number, 6 to 270, it will be a liquid. Anything below 6, meaning 5, 4, 3, it will be a solid, this guy P. Can you see? Anything above, it will be a gas. And so, here we can look at state of substance P at 17 degrees Celsius. So we go straight in, we look at 17 degrees Celsius. 17 will be here. And therefore, he is in the liquid zone. So he will be a liquid. Not a solid. Because solid, he must be below 6 degrees Celsius. Since the temperature is 17, he's asking you, or they are asking you what state it is in, I can confirm that it will be in the liquid state. Because I go and put it in here, and I am in this zone. Then you look at the next temperature, 450. And which zone is it in? 450, is it here, here, or here? There you go. 450 is in the gas zone. So at 450, he will be a gas and gas. So these two are possible. These two are possible. You can see some options opening up already. However, option D cannot be possible. So I can actually close option D. I can also close option C. I can also close option B. Why? Because I need to have both correct, right? In this, both are correct. So A looks like the answer already. Done, actually. So we just need to confirm for state of substance Q. So let's look at state of substance Q. Okay, let's look at it. At 17 degrees Celsius, again, we go back and we look at 17. It's going to be here, you know. 17 is here in the solid zone. Because again, you got to have a solid liquid gas zones. And since 17 is in the solid zone, we go up there and we just highlight this, highlight this, highlight this. Am I right? Very simple. Next, temperature, 450. We go and look which zone is 450 sitting in. Is in the gas zone. 450 is above 340. So by the time it's 340, it already shift to gas. Before 340 is in the liquid zone. So since the temperature is 440, it must have entered the gaseous zone. So you will only see gas as the gaseous state of Q at this temperature. Hence, we are clear that option A is the right answer when we have underline, 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 matching all. Obviously, B, you have one missing. C, you have two missing lines. D, you have three missing lines. So, not possible. Clear? So, this is a very easy way, especially when they give you melting and boiling point. You need to figure out where is the solid zone, liquid zone, gas zone. Go for zones and you check the temperature in those zones and you will find out the states of matter in those zones. Alright?